most distinguished, esteemed heir to the spiritual heritage of Sheikh Al Adam, Sheikh Piers Nur Al Arifin Sadiqi Saab, most esteemed and distinguished honourable scholar, the erudite scholar. I have had the privilege recently of sitting in the company of his feet and. Uh, I don't think I've ever used that word erudite scholar for anybody that I know. And those of you who understand the uh, strength of that language and that word would appreciate what I've just said. Hazrat Sajada Sajad Rahman Sahib, both of these esteemed guests are here as you and I are to pay our homage and tribute to. Shuhada, Shuhada of Masajid. We often remember the great Shuhada of the past. Shuhada Karbogola, we often talk about them. We talk about the Shuhada of the great battles of Uhud and Badr and all of these great souls. But never in my lifetime have I ever come across hearing of an incident where Muslims like you and I have gone prepared to lower their head to their Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and received, as we say, Jami Shahada. I think as sad as it is and as despicable as it is, and of course we're all here to uh, cond condemn, but at the same time pray, it is a remarkable death that they received. I don't have much time and I just want to share with you two things, if I may. First and foremost, I want to give you the salam. Both of you are listening, inshallah. I want to give you both the salam of an English gentleman who I just met outside the door. And we, I didn't know the entrance to the masjid. It's the first time. And he was stood outside the masjid here at a bus stop. And he was pointing that way. I said, bro, come with us. And he laughed. He said, no, no, that's not for me. I said, no, it is for you. Tonight's gathering, as this poster says, gathering to remember the victims of the New Zealand terror attack. That's what it says on the poster. And I said, do you know what this gathering is about? It's about all of us. It's about me and you. It's about all of us coming together to say that terror has no place in civil society. So I give you the salam of Mike. <laughs> Mike who we, inshallah, will pray for. And that's why I'm our mashaykh to pray for these people. And that's why I recited this verse at the start of my, uh, my, my talk, my little reminder that the biggest responsibility that I think we as Muslims have, you and I are both getting messages. We heard today about the attacks in Birmingham. You're all, I'm getting messages from my own people in my own masjid saying, what are we doing about Jummah tomorrow? Have we got extra security on board? And I say, no. We have security and we have aman and aman from our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The threat of this extremist terror is not new to us here in this land. What perhaps, and this is my thinking and I'm ready to be rectified by our ulama, but I remember one of my honorable teachers, Mufti Muhammad Shafuddin Sahib, when they first came to this land, they said, our responsibility towards this country is that we share this beautiful gift that we have called Islam. And we share it with such hikmah, with such wisdom and with such beauty that they are baban, they are absolutely forced to accept its beauty. 
and they understand and they realize the essence of this beautiful faith. Our responsibility is to share that beauty. And if we share that beauty in wisdom and with wisdom, then just like Mike outside just then, just a minute ago, just like one little interaction that I had with him, saying to him, come brother, come be part of us. Hopefully, little small interactions like that can ensure that those who hate will always be in the minority. And those who love will always be in the majority. Just like